world. What is up? Welcome to Build. Oh, I'm your host, Matt Forte. We are here live at the Build Studio in New York City. Uh, how far is Tattoo Far puts relationships to the ultimate test of trust by asking pairs of friends, family members, and couples to design tattoos for each other that won't be revealed until after they've been permanently inked. Uh, the show is pretty wild, and you could not ask for two better hosts to guide us on this journey. One you'll recognize from his work on the hit TV Land series Younger, and the other you've pretty much wanted to be since 2009. That's right, Nico Tortorella and Nicole Snooky Polizzi are in the house. How about that, everybody? Make some noise. Come on. It's just a good time. Uh, we're going to bring them out here in just a second, but first, I believe we have a trailer for the show, so let's go ahead and run that clip. Wow. Please don't cry. I'm Nicole. And I'm Nico. We are hosting How Far is Tattoo Far? Uh, no! Are you fucking serious? We're giving best friends, couples, the power to tattoo anything on the other person's body. No. And they can't see it until it's on their body. <laughs> How Far is Tattoo Far? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make a ridiculous Good amount drama. of noise. Nico and Snooky. Snooky and Nico. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey. Guys, uh, congratulations on what I described downstairs and will continue to describe this show as a batshit insane awesome time. This yeah. show is wild. Uh, I'm so excited that you're here, uh, and it's so wonderful to have both of you back on the build stage. Uh, how are you guys doing? Before we jump into everything about this, just how's life right now? How are you doing? Good, busy. Life's crazy? Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Is that this good. microphone? What is going on? Yeah, it's like a little record. Oh, you know what that was? Hello? Nicole was just telling a ghost story downstairs. No. It's her. That was your it's stepsister. It's my spirit. Yeah. That's your spirit. You're being haunted now, live. I've been haunted since I was born. Yeah. <laughs> that explains it all. Well, haunted <laughs> makes it sound bad. I think no, we, it's all, a good haunted. we all have spirits that follow yes. us, you know? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Spirit yeah. guide. Haunted does have a negative connotation it does. to it. Yeah. yeah. No, you just, you just have a presence. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, everyone like, said that about you guys. Yeah. You have presents. Oh, we have a lot of gifts to yes. give. You know, We're presents. Very special. <laughs> special. <laughs> very special. So that being said, life's pretty good right now. Uh, have you guys? Have you shot the whole show? Are you done shooting the show and just doing press now? Are you still mm -hmm. going? Are you actively filming? Can you no, not? We shot this show in a week and a half. Yeah, no, ten right. episodes. Oh, uh, it was a lot. We were emotionally drained by the end of it. That like spiritually, uh, <laughs> energetic. Just like yeah, like all the emotions that because we're empaths, so we feel everyone else's emotions. Oh, so once we wrapped the show, I literally slept for three days. I was so exhausted. Yeah, I mean, but that being said, I learned more about the dynamics oh, yeah. of people and um, just the, the intricacies of, of trust and honesty and communication and just like the human experience more on this show than anything else I've ever worked on. Yeah, it was like therapy times a thousand. Yeah. Right, it's like yeah. a talk show, but then there's tattoo stuff that happens. Yeah. Like It's crazy, because you guys sit down and you have these little conversations and you watch these these emotional arcs take mm. place. Uh, were you ever, because you guys, you really do watch you guys feel everything that happens. Yeah. Uh, go but on. even more than that, they're blindfolded. So yeah. it's almost like we've created this sensory deprivation think tank. See what I did there? You see what I, you see what I did there? Um, and there's just so much that happens. Yeah. And you are barely seeing the tip of the iceberg on the show from what we actually shot. I mean, we were shooting for 10 hours with each couple, and you're getting maybe eight minutes of story, you know? Yeah. So it's... I wish the show was longer. How many would you guys do in a day? Would you Up to three. Sometimes three couples, three couples a yeah. day. And the UK version is an hour long yeah. for two couples. Ours is a half hour for two couples. Yeah, you so we're no, just yeah, going like, nonstop. Going. So you're you missing a lot that yeah. we actually saw and went through. Mm. So yeah. obviously, uh, you guys were both familiar. You'd seen the UK version before you walked in the room. But like, mm -hmm. it's a very different thing to watch it on a screen and then to be in the middle of it and experiencing it. What, yeah. Like day one, you guys walk on. Uh, what we <laughs> Day one. Too. Yo, you remember day that? One. Okay. Hard? So, day one. Day one, me and Nico almost quit. <laughs> we did. No. Fully, fully. Not kidding. Well, it was the devil, baby, was day one. That was our From first last week's too. episode. Yeah. And it was just one couple that came in. And we had shot the pilot almost a year prior, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And um, not the pilot episode that, that anyone it, saw. We the one that aired? No, 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 yeah. Um, and, I mean, we keep talking about spirituality, but we're both... We have practices, right? Yeah. And the first tattoo out the gate is a devil baby. We're putting a hex on an unborn child. Yeah. We lost that. 
We lost it. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. came in with yeah, all the Palo that. Santo and crystals the next day. <laughs> yeah. Like, we are we are changing the vibe we in here. We're yeah. like, we didn't sign up for a show like this. Yeah. yeah. But it, it turned out good. Everything mm-hmm. turned out amazing. Yeah. yeah. There was there are some really beautiful tattoos. Yeah, it's not all do. negative. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's not all revenge. No, no, yeah. But, um, but even some of the, like, meaner tattoos, the intention behind them is really incredible. You are seeing people open up to each other in a way that like they didn't yeah. know how to without being in this controlled environment. Yeah. Which is so fascinating to me. Yeah, it it, it really is. you haven't seen anything like this yeah. before. Uh and th- what's really fascinating to me is watching you guys and the way in which you respond to their energy as they're navigating this moment. Sometimes, like, uh, with the chastity belt, you're trying to help her navigate it. Oh. And you're like, look, you can turn this around. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nico, like, Nico made sure to, like, put a positive spin on everything. I really tried to. Me, I was like, that's fucked up. Yeah. Like, I would never do that to somebody. I really Nico's to. like, oh, well, maybe, you know. I was like, well, let's talk about the work. chastity belt. So it dates yeah. back to, yeah. you know. And like, I'm like, no, it's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> That's what is the you thing that we have exactly yeah. good po- good good pop bad Woo. pop. Go home. Good pop bad cop. Did Shut you, up. <laughs> did you ever find? Oh, yourself- did you just snort? You just I just heard yeah. that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it, was it was beautiful. Was <laughs> did you ever find yourselves like uh, sort of dumbfounded or speechless or or oh. stuck like forgetting that your job is to talk in this moment, but you couldn't say anything? Like you were welcomed into the world with the demon semen. Like so, like I guess the bar was set. Is that high or it low? Really I don't know where the bar is for that. It's it, it, it's, so, it's 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 the whole bar. <laughs> the whole bar uh, is just set. It's alcoholic. Yes. So Ooh. so where do you? <laughs> One. Speaking of yes, um, so when Nicole is sober, we call her Nicole naturally. But I'm Nicole today. You're Nicole. Today. We, Nicole nice is, is last time here. I was here. I think I was Snooky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I was drunk. Yeah, I was like, Duh! there's Snooky, but then there's also Dren, which is oh yeah, Dren's not a good one. No, Dren is. Hmm. Um, but but Snooky came to set a few days. Hang on a second. Why is Dren not a good one? That's on you, girl. Did you um, ever see the movie Splice? Yeah. Whoa. So the aliens, like a nice alien, and then turns and so like this <laughs> demon alien kills them. Exactly. So I get like mean, drunk, and I hit people, and I'm just not a nice person. <laughs> What's your closest to a version of a memory of when you were Dren? Just have you seen the Jersey Shore? Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, I wanted to hear <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, there. Fair no, enough. no, that's the fun me. Yeah, I never Dren there. A couple if, times Dren came out. I feel like in some episodes, no, like back in the day. Oh yeah, but I feel like they edited it out, so I don't yeah, look yeah, like yeah. a complete asshole. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> but there were a couple times during reveals okay. where we're. <laughs> Dang. Oh my god! I was Nicole so can, drunk. honestly. Snooky can barely stand up and full hiccups. Just <laughs> Nico, I hate that tattoo. <laughs> I didn't even know how they're gonna play it because the episode didn't air yet. Well, no, I feel like one of them actually did. Really? Not the hiccup one. No, not the hiccup one. I was one. wasted. Uh, it was. It was honestly a dream come true. That, yeah, but I did drink wine some reveals, like not to like you know get wasted like that, but just to calm my nerves yeah. because it's so stressful. That thank God they had like a wine bar for me. I had my glass of wine and like calmed down. But yeah, it looks, those really, reveals are insane. The yeah. anxiety must be like through the roof. Yeah, like you guys me, are oh, crawling yeah. out of your skin as you're I mean, waiting for that moment. It's really just a metaphor for the for the world that we're living in. Yeah. You know, we're just getting blindly fucked. Yes. I think that's one of the tattoos. Uh-huh. Is, a, is somebody's getting blindly fucked? So <laughs> let me let me ask you this: uh, You guys have talked a lot in other interviews about like your favorite tattoos and stuff. Do either of you have anything in all the beautiful artwork on your body that not maybe regret, but that you would want to change or update or something that you'd want to modify? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. No, I just I've been getting tattoos since I was fifteen. I have I have Chinese on my back that I just. You know, I didn't need to get that as a white kid in the Midwest at 15 years old. Um, I have some work that's not as great as other stuff that I have. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's, some stuff, there's yeah. stuff that will change and evolve. I have some cover-ups already. Yeah, just some, I don't regret any of my tattoos, yeah. but the work on my back, um, it's starting to fade. Yeah. Okay. So I will probably fix that and then add something to it. Now, is there anything on Nico you would change and vice versa? Uh, are we still ink? talking about tattoos? Yeah, uh, yeah. 
You know, let's, so. <laughs> there, let's start there and see where this goes. There is not a single thing I would change about Same. you. Beautiful. Same. We're besties. Obviously, you two real. hate each other. That yeah. is what I'm getting from this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long have you actually known each other? Like, was it the show that brought a you year. together? Or did you? No, get the hell out of here. A year? Seriously? No, a yeah, year since, but, we, but, since the pilot. Yeah, but we shot the pilot. And we were, I mean, we were hanging out for like a week when we did that. Mm -hmm. And then we hung out for basically two weeks straight and have been doing press. So, like, in the big scheme of things, we've probably only spent a month and a half together. Yeah, yeah. nothing crazy. Yeah, but it's like... We're I've, so comfortable I've with each other. I've yeah, known yeah, her sure. for lifetimes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys found, whenever you, like, click with somebody like that, have you found, like, weird coincidences between your friendships that you didn't... Oh, when we first met? Yeah. We're actually soul best friends, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> We, but um, when we met. yeah, we we found out there's this woman that lives deep in Long Island named Pat Longo. I am so into that. that She's amazing. That I refer to her as the Dumbledore of new of the tri-state area. <laughs> she trains psychics and mediums and healers like th in the hundreds every single year, and <laughs> I had just gone to her like two days before we filmed the pilot, and she told me that she, Nicole came to her like the month prior. And, it, it, like, nobody knows about this person. And the fact that we both went to the same... And healer, no one knows I'm into spiritual stuff like yeah. that. Well, they do now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was weird that we both went to her. Mm. Is that mm. the weirdest thing that you guys experienced, right? It's, I mean, like, well, that's the universe lining things up, saying this is exactly. destiny. This is yeah. meant to be. Mm -hmm. Well, also, I mean, we're just from two big Italian families, too, you know? So the dynamics that we are used to from growing up are exactly the same. Around. Yeah. 100%. Same. And we're the same age, and yeah, I'm you, older. Yeah, we like share clothes. You know, it's like I'm the boss because I'm older. <laughs> Is that how that works? Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like you would be the boss no matter what. Like Nicole, same. that's like that's your. I don't it's your energy. I'm that's not. Boss. That's not a comment on you, Nicole. It's just the uh, testament to the force. I think that the is. Yin and Yang you're more. Switch, you're though. more assertive. But I'm the boss. Like if I need to, if I want it my way, you would let me have it my way. Oh, I would let you have yes. it your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This totally. is what I'm saying. Totally, yeah, totally. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That you're yeah. the boss. Um, you know what about? And keep me honest. This, see, I feel like this is the first time I've seen you. Like you guys, have, I've seen you host the thing before, but this is your first like regular hosting gig that you two obviously have done together. But in general, how does that feel? Schedule wise, work wise, compared to the stuff that you're used to doing, has this been? You already talked about learning so much from this experience, but just in general, just the work, has it been more fun, easier? Is it something you want to do more of? Like, how do you feel after this? Well, I think for me, because I definitely want to do something other than reality. Because when I shoot Jersey Shore, I don't see my kids, I'm not home, and it just it gives me anxiety, and I don't like leaving my home anymore like that. So I wanted to get into hosting somehow. So this is like the perfect fit for me. It's on MTV. Yeah. Um, it's a fun show. I still get to have my wine, but I'm not leaving my kids. So I get to go home at the end of the day and be a mom and then come back and then host. So I think right now in my life, I prefer this more than reality TV. Is that part of your negotiation? Like, I'm going to have my wine? <laughs> oh, well, they knew. <laughs> if you're going to hire me, you need to have stocked wine. It just so. makes for great television, too. Yeah. yeah. They know what they're it's doing. Smart way to exactly. do it. We just did Kathy and Hoda before we came here, the Today Show. Oh, really? And, like, oh. you are going to take over one of their jobs. I want to take over their job one day. In the future. All they do is it's, drink wine in the morning and talk. Like, it's the hello. perfect job for Nicole. Oh, hello. Y'all heard it here first. Yeah. Hire me in 20 yeah. years. We and will will that into existence, yeah. I've been playing make-believe on television for 10 years almost, you know? So the world knows me as characters that I have played outside of the work that I do yeah. in, you know, the fields of social justice. But um, I love it. I love playing myself. Yeah, I get to be me. I get to have fun. Um, and we get to create, you know? I mean, people in general, look at reality television and something like this as, like, super low brow, right? That That's just, like, kind of the vibe in the art world. But there's something so... Um, almost like guerrilla theater about it. Yeah. It's performance art, you know? In one way or another. I mean, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I think Nicole is one of the greatest performance artists of our generation. How do you feel For about real? that, Nicole? You're so sweet. But He's it's, awesome. That's but so sweet. She knows exactly what she's doing, and she's yeah. been doing it for so long. I do. Long. And well, it's not to say I'm acting, but I know when to turn it on. And 10 years later, she's as relevant, if not more, today than she was when the show started? It's pretty amazing. Yo, it's not an easy thing to do. 
And some people use it for good. And as we know in this country, some people use reality television and performance art for the worst possible thing in the entire world. Yes. <laughs> There's a, there's a lar- vast spectrum yeah. that you could, you could cover but there. The short answer to that question is I want to be doing a lot more of this, doing- but in, in, in spaces that are like really making a difference. Yeah, you know? 100%. Well, actually, you know, it's funny you mentioned that one of the things that, that also stuck out, aside from like the craziness of it, is the amount of diversity and inclusion amongst the people oh, yeah. coming in to do it. There's they're non-binary, there's mm. queer, people of color. There's all these, was that something... That just happened naturally because you're doing a show on MTV. It was it's a conversation that was had going into the show? Like, well, I want to see everybody come in here. Like, yeah, it's funny. There's like a, like a pretty good mix of like Jersey folk and queer people on the show. Yeah, and I, and I feel like, oh, okay, I get it. I get yeah. it. I get it. Yeah. But that was one of my first questions: was uh, how many queer people are we having in this season? And when we got the breakdown, I was like, oh my god. I mean, we have non-binary people, like you said, drag queens, like uh, so many different types of people on the show. And Did that made... tattoo, the uh, sweet tattoo air yet? Where we cried, we were like, oh. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. All right, we can't talk about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but you have but all there's those amazing. People. Yeah. Like, we were in tears. We were so happy. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited for so that. So we have good moments. <laughs> we cry so much on this show. Oh, we're show. so emotional. Oh, my God. Even on um, Eddie and Shivana's episode when, um, I mean, we were messes. I know. Embarrassing. But they didn't cut to us in tears. I was like, that, that was a waste. That was yeah. a waste. We're giving like, cool. A-plus performance here. I'm like, why are you not using this? Yeah. I'm just uh, playing. You know, and you're right. You do have a mix. You have all those people. And then, like, the first one that aired, like, Angelina comes in. Angelina. Right? Angelina and Chris. Angelina. What did Paulie and Vinny say no? Like, what happened? Why? Yep. Did, how did you convince <laughs> Angelina to do it? Because she's a dumbass. <laughs> I was like, hey, babe, do you want to come on the show and be blindfolded and get tattooed? Like, everyone else was like, no, why the fuck would I do that? Yeah. Angelina's like, sure. She's got six seasons to catch up, you exactly. know? She's, she's got to put that, in work. She's making so. that point right now. It blew me away. It felt like, because uh, obviously we're all also watching the Jersey Shore, you know, watching these shows back to back. I feel like they fought less on tattoo than they did at the dinner that you guys had in like dinner. it was crazy yeah. they, they were pretty cool with it all considered i think she had set the bar at bag of dicks yeah she didn't get a bag of dicks nope. and so she could take it like that was pretty no, yeah <laughs> i think she was perfect for the show it's so weird to me that like the worst tattoo imaginable always on the show is like a dick everyone's yeah. like i don't want a dick tattoo. every couple was like don't give me a dick like it was always what? a dick first of all the power of the penis, shall we, just for one second? Yes. The medicinal quality of the penis. We, we have all come from a penis quite literally in yeah. one way or another. Same. What's all this problem with the dick, yo? No, I have a dick tattoo. <laughs> there were two Dude, consistent things. Spec. It was nobody, everybody was afraid of getting a dick, and then everyone was like, well, I'm giving you this tattoo to, to remind you to, like, you need to, like, take control and, like, calm down. There was a lot of that. Yeah. A lot of people, mm-hmm. like... Uh, the symbolism behind it. I saw yeah. a lot of through lines with that. But yeah, the dick thing, I was startled by. Like, it was almost every episode. Yeah. Someone was just like, that was their nightmare scenario. Yep. Yeah. Don't give me a dick. <laughs> exactly. We're like, okay. Fair enough. We're going to have a demon semen coming out of yeah, your underwear. Yeah, that's but like, way better. <laughs> yeah, as long as it's not a bunch of dicks. As long as it's not a dick, I'm good. <laughs> uh, they keep giving me the signal, probably because uh, I've said dick so many times in a row. Oh, now. sorry. Uh, you no, know, it's the internet. You can say anything, especially that. Dick. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, let's. But we do have audience questions. Oh, okay. I would hate to take time away from our audience. So let's go ahead and get some questions. Microphone. We're going to start right in the front. No dick questions, please. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good one. All right, give Come all on. dick questions. Safe space. Yeah, yeah safe space. Dick Only dick, dick questions. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what to ask now, then. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> um, Nico, yeah. we saw Angelina come on the show, so I'm wondering if you could get any of your younger co-stars mm. on the show. I, yeah, I mean, I would love to. You know, I don't know how wild they all are. I mean, Hillary has a lot of tattoos. I don't... I mean, she's about to pop out a baby, so I don't know like if, if coming out on this show is like <laughs> next on the list. I don't know. I mean, a lot of the people on this show have been working in television for so long that they don't want to come do a tattoo crazy show. Maybe. Womp. Maybe Molly. I don't know. But tell Should them I just keep Snooki's talking gonna until... be there? <laughs> yeah, like, Snooki. Yeah. We'll see. Fingers crossed. There we are. Debbie Mazer. Great question. Yeah, get Debbie, right? That'd be fantastic. Uh, <laughs> we got two more. Next one's right here. Come on down. Hi, uh, Hi. I wanted to know uh, what would be your dream tattoo or one that you've been thinking about recently that you love to put on uh, on you. Yeah, what's next, ma'am? 
I definitely want something on my leg that represents me as a mother and mm. my family. Because I'm like all about my mommy tattoos now. So I want something on my legs. So I think that's hot. But obviously to represent, you know, my kids. But I'm not sure what yet. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to be covered pretty soon. Um, I, covered. I'm, I'm going to start working on full leg sleeves. And I want to do one ayahuasca themed Ooh. about my journeys in the jungle. Wild. Yeah. Well, of all the stuff you got, this is a, such a cliche question, but like, which one either like felt like it took the longest or like hurt the most? My ribs. The ribs, yeah, it's usually. I have like all of the single needle on my ribs. Oh, terrible. But terrible. still, no regrets because now you have it. And no it's beautiful. regrets. Yeah, beautiful. No regrets. How many more we got? We got one more. Got We're gonna one do one more. more question. It's right here in the front. Go for it. Hi guys, Michael your, David. Your I just wanted to. Makeup is on point. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Your whole, both of your outfits are on Thank point. You, I was babe. thinking about that. <laughs> so congratulations on how far is tattoo far. Thank you. Um, Snooki, I just have to say, I've been watching you literally for the past 10 years since I was a child. So I just want to say thank you for everything. Love you so much. Love you. Now my question is for both of you. What can we expect next from how how far is Tattoo Far as well as Jersey Shore? Mm. Yeah. Take on Jersey. Oh yeah, Jersey, um, we're not done shooting yet. We're shooting Mike's wedding soon. Mm. And then that's it. Um, But yeah, we just got back from a little trip. So you guys have a lot in store. We, you, um, I think they're going to air us back in Jersey, down the shore, and then our trip, and then Mike's wedding. So mm. you still have a lot to catch up on. So it's not over yet. And then Tattoo, I mean, we got a lot more episodes to show. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more shit shows. There is so much that happens. But we haven't seen anything. No. Um, but we were there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like season two, when, if, and when it happens... Um, is going to be bonkers. Yeah. Because now everyone knows like what it's like, yeah. you know? Mm. But I've just fingers crossed that we get some like more like really solid, beautiful stories. Yeah. We I haven't seen it played it out on the show yet, so I don't know really how it works. but mm. Or crazy revenge ones. You can take those. <laughs> okay, I'll take those. Would you guys, uh, obviously you do something really sweet. Have you already have in your head what you would do for the other person? <laughs> Yeah, they actually wanted us to tattoo each other. I'm sure it'll happen at some on point. On the episode, or on the season, but oh, my mother-in-law doesn't want me to get any more tattoos, so I have to like approve it with the family. I want it my leg, and he knows what I want. I feel like we would play it up like we're giving each other terrible tattoos, but I think at the yeah. end it would be beautiful. That's exactly what I would do. You would give me a beautiful oh, I would, tattoo. It would you be would so, never. No, I would never. I would yeah. never do that to but, you. Like, I but I feel like idea. you would do it to me. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> maybe I would put. Maybe I would put like a little something. It depends on how much you had to drink when we were shooting the episode. Same. Same. <laughs> if it was Nicole, Snooki, or Dren. <laughs> I love the idea of Nico having to like go to your family with the tattoo, oh, get the approval, the getting the approval from yeah. Gianni, yeah, <laughs> like, like asking your, your husband. Like, yeah, can I this? <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. This hey, is uh, what I'm gonna do. So I'm, I've been yeah. thinking. Maybe like a it's meeting. time yeah. to uh, get another. It's a beautiful ink. little scene. Just uh, mm-hmm. all right. Uh, we got to wrap things up. We're running out of time, but my God, you guys, it is always so much fun when you come and hang out with yeah, us. So thank so. you so, so much again for being here. Congrats on this amazing show. Uh, I wrote it down so everybody would remember how far is tattoo far airs Thursdays at 9 PM on MTV Thursdays at 9 PM on MTV. Uh, it, uh, obviously the best is yet to come and it's already been so incredible. So keep watching, keep tuning in. Uh, anything else you want to tell the people before we get out of here? Anything else you want to say? Parting words, other plugs, watch our show, watch your show. Nigo. There we go. Beautiful. Indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, please make a ridiculous amount of noise. Join me in thanking Nico Tortorella and the one and only Snooky Nicole Felici right here.